So people wanted to know about labor hereditary neuropathy plus and OPA plus. And that plus is what we're going to be talking about today. If you want to know more about labor hereditary optic neuropathy and OPA optic neuropathy, you should watch those videos. So the plus means that these are basically mitochondrial disorders. And even though OPA1 is a chromosomal, autosomal dominant uh, chromosome 3 abnormality, it manifests like a mitochondrial disease because the protein product of the OPA1 is a mitochondrial fusion protein. So they both act like mitochondrial optic neuropathies, even though labor is a mitochondrial and this isn't. That's where the plus comes in because if you only have it in your optic nerve, then you only get the vision loss, central scotoma, optic atrophy in both the optic atrophy gene and the labor hereditary optic neuropathy gene. They both present with bilateral optic neuropathy in labor acute, bilateral, simultaneous, or sequential in the OPA1, painless and progressive diagnosis in childhood. They're both optic neuropathies. The plus means that the mitochondrial defect is affecting other organ systems. And as you can imagine, the highly metabolic tissues are going to be much more sensitive to a mitochondrial threshold effect. And a threshold effect means you can function at 50% mitochondria for a lot of things, but some things have a threshold. Once you go below that threshold, you become symptomatic. So a lot of disorders nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden you're symptomatic. And that threshold effect means that even if you have some percentage of bad mitochondria in your cells, because there's heteroplasmy, your cells are not equal in the mitochondria abnormality, some cells are completely unaffected even though they have the gene defect. That threshold effect accounts for variability in expressivity. The variability in the expression of the gene, even though you have the genotype, is partially dependent on heteroplasmy and a threshold effect of mitochondrial function. And that is plus disease. So plus means you get optic neuropathy plus hearing loss or plus some other mitochondrial failure in a high metabolic active tissue like your heart or your kidney or your brain. And those mitochondrial disorders have names like myoclonic epilepsy, ragged red fiber, chronic progressive external ophthalmoplegia, uh, MILAS, mitochondrial encephalopathy with lactic acidosis and stroke-like episodes. So any organ system, but especially your brain, your heart, your kidney, your blood, can be affected by mitochondrial disease, and that is what we mean by PLUS. So if you have a mitochondrial defect or OPA1, a mitochondrial fusion product defect, you can get PLUS because it's in other organ systems. Usually you do not because the metabolic threshold effect and heteroplasmy.